Good morning, loves. It's Motivation Monday with Dr. K, Freedom by Design. Get up, get up, get up. Call your friends, tag them, like and share. Say, hey, she's on. It's time, it's time, it's time. Let's get this day going. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I love you guys. I'm excited to see you and to share with you, you know, what's been going, what's been going on with me, what he's dropped in my spirit this morning. So good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. I love you guys. I'm excited. Tag a friend, tag a friend, tag a friend. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's make sure that I'm good. I can see you. Hi, Avril. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hi, Mom. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Christy. Congratulations on your graduation. Good morning, good morning. Hey, Rutho. Good morning, good morning. Cindy, good morning. Sharice, all right. We got Pennsylvania in the house. We have Texas in the house. Good morning, Frankie. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you guys so much for being on with me this morning. Please go ahead and like and share. Good morning, Miss Loretta. Good morning. Good morning. I love you. Good morning. Yes, guys, it is Motivation Monday. Last night I was up. My mind still was running and spinning. My little sister was like, okay, um, Dork, you need to go to sleep because tomorrow is Motivation Monday. We got to get it popping. So I was like, okay, you know what? You're right. You're right. Good morning, Sherry. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, guys. I love you. I love you. I love you. Do like and share, like and share. You guys see our topic. Hey, Princess. He sees you. Yes, he sees you. That's a real one. And I know some of us are like, well, who sees us? Everybody sees us, right? Yeah, he sees us though, which is more important. And I'll tell you why in a second. So excited, excited, excited. Y'all see a sister got a new look, a new thing is going on. So great things are going on. And I'm going to um, share some of that with you this morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hi, Nicole. Good morning, good morning. Thank you guys for being on. Super excited. Guys, before I get into anything, I am going to say once again, as I always do when I come on, if you are not tuning in on Monday through Friday at 6 a.m., if you are not getting your day started with the guys on, you are missing a treat. Good morning, good morning, Nora. Praise God. You better say it, sis. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Guys on, guys. Ruth Avril, drop that information in the um, comments, please. I've been posting it. I want you guys to see it. I want you to get on. It is nothing like jump-starting your morning the right way. And I don't know if you're like a lot of us, because um, he wakes us up sometimes at 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning. Hey, Ruto has been so obedient that he's like, you know what? We're going to do a 3 a.m. prayer. Jump on, because some of us are up and we're praying anyway. Why not touch and agree through that thing? Because, guys, he sees us. So make sure you're tuning in. Good morning, Centrale, my love. How are you? How are you? Good morning, Browder. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you. God's own info is in the text. Tune in. You can also be a part of the God's own WhatsApp because guess what? It's just not a Monday through Friday thing. It's all day long. We're praying. We're talking about what's going on. You're getting encouragement. You're getting um, sometimes through song and not just a YouTube song, like literally we have some songbirds on the God Zone. So I'm just saying <clears throat> I might have to um, try to get some voice lessons and exercise my inner songstress, not so much. All right. All right. So let's jump right into it, guys. So he sees you. I saw when Nora came on, she says she is so grateful that he does see her. And guys, I say this because so many of us you know, struggle with loneliness. And I say us because it has been a situation, it has been a time in my life when I did struggle in that area. And I know we might say, well, I know you can see me. Um, and yeah, I'm sure God does see me. And some of us take that thing for granted. But again, so many of us struggle with loneliness and people will say, well, Katrina, you're always around people. How could you ever be lonely? Not that I struggle with it in this season of my life, but for a long time, family, I struggled with it. And I was a person that was always around people, but loneliness is more in here. It's not so much about the people that are around us. Of course, God, he saw me. I knew he did, but I still struggle. Why? Because I was seeking validation and attention, and I was seeking the things that I needed outside of him. I was looking for it to come from a man, a friend, a boss, a, you know, a, whatever the case might be, a coach, um, a 
whomever. I was seeking it from him, from them instead of saying, you know what, as long as God sees me, I'm okay. You know, and yesterday I had the privilege of being on a, a photo shoot. My husband actually gifted me my photo shoot for the book, Exposed, that's coming out. Um, our launch date, we are saying full launch is going to be September 1st, but we're going to start pre-sales in August. But I was on set yesterday, guys, and it was so amazing because I had some beautiful people around me and the title of the book is Exposed and I've never felt more exposed than in that moment. I mean, when you see the pictures and we'll start dropping them very soon and I might leak one or two um, today, like I'm out in the middle of a field and as I saw the pictures, it was so amazing to see it from her, um, the photographer Goldie Love, it was so amazing to see it from her eye, to see her angle. But another thing that I do when people are taking pictures and I look, I'm always looking at the people around. They were all looking at me, and I, but I was looking at them and they were smiling and I can see that they were genuinely there with me and I knew he was there with me. And in that moment, I just heard his voice whisper and say, Trina, I see you. And it was such a calm that came over me and all of the people that were on the set, I'm like, Lord, they're all here for me because they believe in what you've placed in me. And as they were talking and, and snapping the pictures and everybody was playing their part, you had a person with the fan, you had a person with the umbrella and everybody was just coming together. And all I could think about was all the years and the times when I felt so alone. And he whispered and said, I see you. And I was like, you know, Lord, I was never alone. Even when um, I was going through all of the things that I was going through, seeking the validation outside of you. And it made me in that moment say, Lord, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me because you never left me. And I'm so grateful that you'll allow me to use my, you'll, I, I'm grateful you're going to use me to share with other people to say, you don't have to worry about being alone. I struggled with it for a long time. So I feel you, but I promise you when I got my life in alignment with him, then what other people thought, what they thought, it didn't matter as much to me. You know, it was like, okay, everybody's gonna have an opinion, but God. Everybody's gonna have an opinion, but God. So as I'm sitting here this morning and I was getting ready, I said, Lord, you know, I, my prayer is always as I start to come on these platforms that I'm able to speak without notes. I still use notes sometimes because just to make sure, but I said this morning, I wanted to just share with you guys who he was to me because I've had an opportunity to dig deep and to understand El Rohi, the God who sees me. And I want you to know that he sees you because God knows everything about you. Sometimes, you know, we're sitting and we're like, dog, if they knew if um, this person who's interviewing me or talking to me, or I'm trying to date this person, if they really knew, would they really love me? Would they really like me? But guess what? He knows everything. He knows every indiscretion. He knows every lie that you told. He knows everything you've done in the dark, everything you've done in the light. And yet, and still, and I mean, you better say it, Nora, everything. He knows it all, but he still is seeking your heart every day. He still has his arms outstretched to you saying, I love you. I see you. Despite everything, you know, one of the one of my favorite topics that I've spoken on is broken crayons still color. As a matter of fact, I love it so much that it's actually in the book because I know I was broken. But these crayons are still coloring and he's creating a masterpiece with it. It might not be by somebody else's definition, but he said, I can use you. I can take everything that you've done and I can turn it into a masterpiece. You might not see it as much, but when I use it, when I turn that thing around, it's going to look different. And I said, you know what? It made me think about Matthew 10 and 30. And I said, he knows everything. He even knows the amount of hairs on our head. Now, y'all know that this ain't my hair, but he knows how many hairs are on my head still, even with this extra hair. <laughs> also, God knows our name. We are not just another face in the crowd to him. It does not matter how tired you are. It doesn't matter how many times other people have discounted you and pushed you to the side. He still wants to use us. Guys, Isaiah 49 and 16 says that he has our name engraved in the palm of his hand. Not a tattoo. 
Our names are engraved in the palm of his hand. Do you understand how deep that is? That means that there was some pain that had to take place for our names to be engraved. That means, guess what? We're always a part of him. He's always going to see us. And it transitions me into my next point. He sees our circumstances. Life might, be, might surprise us, but it's never going to surprise him. We might be shocked by what people do, how they treat us, how they act, the things that they say, how they discount us, how no matter how good you are to a person, they might, you know, hurt you. But guess what? He's not surprised by it because he's omniscient. He knows everything, good, bad, and the ugly. Remember, he is still going to seek us. Psalms 34 and 15 says, the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous. His ears are attentive to our cry. Now, caveat to that. He want, he's going to hear our prayers, but he's not. He's saying pray, but don't worry. When you pray, you let it go, you give it to him, and you don't worry. So that means when you pray, you get on your knees, you go in your closet, you get in your car, wherever you are, and you pray and you ask him to do a thing, you ask him to relieve a thing, to take a thing from you, to take away the fear, anxiety, the doubt, all of those things. Now you don't go and worry about it. You don't go and say, you don't go and try to fix it because you brought it to him. He said, leave your cares at my feet. I got you. He has us so we don't have to worry whether it's a financial need, a, me a mental need, spiritual. He sees it. He is a God of compassion. He will heal our heavy heart. And Deuteronomy lets us know 31.6 that he's never going to leave us or forsake us. So you know what? I, I rest assured and I rest on his promises. And when I get in those situations where I feel like I'm alone and I feel like nobody sees me and I don't know what to do, I call God out on what he said. I call him out on his word and we have that conversation. And he says, you know what, Trina, I got you. I see you. When nobody else sees you, I see you. And I know he's going to supply each and every one of my needs. So I don't have to worry, guys. And as I'm sitting here this morning, I said, you know what? Everything and every situation where I needed him, he's always come through. So for that person that's out there and you're like, you know what? I don't know what's going on. I've been trying. I've been um, quiet. I've been still. I've been trying to get myself together. I've um, done all the things that I've needed to, that they say I should do. Well, when you say they, who is they? I'm saying we got to rest in him. I'm saying that when I brought it all to him, when I was empty of everything, when I poured it all out, that's when he was able to come in and fill me up and use me in ways I promise you I would have never imagined because nobody would have told me that I would be on Facebook on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday talking and you know sharing messages especially from a, a, a spiritual perspective because that was something that was so private to me but again he will use those broken crayons. I am an example. Just because the package on the outside might look all good doesn't mean the inside isn't broken. I am bandaged up. I got some deep wounds. I got some tape in some places. I got some scars in some places, but he still is using me and I'm so grateful. Yes, yeah, I see you, Avril. Thank you, El Rohi. Yes, you see all of me and love me unconditionally. Guys, none of us are perfect but he does see us. And at certain point that made me a little uncomfortable to him. Like he does see me, but he still loves me. Despite what I've said, what I did, cause I don't always make the best decisions. I don't always say the right thing. I'm still human. So sometimes things still come out, but he sees us and he forgives. So whoever you are this morning and you're feeling like, you know what, I'm in this place and space. I just don't know. I'm another face in the crowd. You will never be another face in the crowd to him. He sees you and he loves you. So on this morning, I want you to know, I love you. We see you. I'm so grateful that you guys get on and you fellowship with me. I'm grateful for all of the inboxes that I receive and all of the messages, text messages that I receive when people say, you know, Katrina, you were talking to me this morning. And it makes me feel so good because I know that God was talking to me when he makes me get up and share hey, you got to open your mouth and tell people what you've been through. And over the next month, there will be more things that I share because as we start talking about the book, um, which is exposed. It's not me exposing people. It's my faith walk. It's my journey. And it's what it's him seeing me and allowing me to let others see me so that guess what? You can see him ultimately. So we'll start talking about it. I'm going to share it with um, 
some individuals so they can come on and give us a synopsis of what they think, guys. But yesterday was amazing. And I, I did want to thank um, my team that was there. I didn't want to leave anybody out. So um, that was Goldie Love. She did my photography. And like I said, I'm going to kind of drop something. I know she might be like, don't do that. But I'm going to drop a little something. My sister Tiffany was able to style my hair. But um, this hair was actually done by a young lady. Her name is Mimi. She's on Instagram, the fastest braider. My assistant, JW, Leslie did my makeup. My little sister, Nyla, was there. London and Egypt were there. Everybody was doing their part. So I was excited about it, guys. I love you. Understand, he sees you. No matter if you're in a room with a whole bunch of people or if you're sitting in your bedroom by yourself, he sees you. He is with you. Know that I love you. Guys, have a fantastic day. I look forward to seeing you on Wisdom, Wisdom Wednesday, Tongue Tied, because guess what? We're going to have a special guest. And if at any point you have a testimony that you want to share, reach out to me in the inbox. I would love to have you on as a guest to share your story, because that's what this is about. This isn't my platform. This is our platform. Freedom by Design is about us. It's our movement. He just put that thing in me and I birthed it out as the founder, but it's ours for us to share. I'm all about innovation. It's not about me keeping it to myself. It's about us sharing with everybody. Guys, I love you this morning. Understand and remember, he sees you. So don't worry. You're not ever by yourself, no matter what it feels like. Reach out. Have a great day. Share it with a friend. Like and share. Like and share. Have a fantastic Motivation Monday. I love you. And look forward to some of those pictures being um, dropped sometime today. God bless you guys and take care. Bye-bye.